hello. So, welcome to the stream. This one's going to be kind of short, like 15, 20 minutes or so. I'll probably wait for some people to come in and then I'll go explain it again. Um, So I guess I'll just talk about it. Uh, so we have a... The main updates that I did to the robot is I worked on getting a... mechanism. So I angled the elevator and you can see here the whole elevator is on an angle now. And this helps me score in the trap. So a lot of the things have changed because of that. Another thing is I added these reaction bars to drop or the angled elevator to score, then I can quickly show you how I'd run that on the field. So if you look here, right? Welcome to the stream. Um, if we look here, we have a... We start like this-ish. Right? And then... Okay. And then we extend our elevator up, as so. And that kind of clips was whatever. You get the idea. You can go. You can drive forward. Then afterwards, we drive backwards a little bit until the robot, until the hook hits. Oh, I, did I fix something in place? Oh, it's the bumpers and. So, we move this over here, then the climb hook hits the, the chain, as such. And then, when the elevator lifts up, this also releases the bar, which drops down. Oh, shoot. Which drops down like this. So now, the robot climbs. It just climbs as such, like this. It doesn't actually climb all the way, it kind of climbs to like... Unshape. The idea is you kind of climb to like here-ish and pull it clips. And the robot will like tilt a little bit, right? So... If I can... Tilt it. I have to. The hook. The robot will tilt a little bit anyway. Whatever. Hopefully, it's too much. And then you can see how it kind of locks onto this hook, which in theory should have some surgical tubing. Um, once we do this, elevator extends up. And then we have scoring, which is just launching the game piece down into the hatch, into the trap. And then this kind of just lets us score really easily since we have this one by one here that reacts and allows us to stay somewhat stable. The one thing though is I do need my center of gravity to be further back and I don't have 
much stuff back here. So I'll need to pocket a lot of the stuff here in order to button it. Because I think right now the center of gravity is around here-ish, which is not ideal. I want it somewhere around here. And ideally, centered as much as I can. And yeah, that's the main thing I did. In terms of changes to the actual robot, I guess that's the trap mechanism explained. In terms of the changes to the actual robot, of course I added the trap mechanism, some other things. You can see this is the shaft that holds it in place. This lifts up, and then since it's all at, since this already had an angle, it'll just drop because of gravity. And then since it's leaning against, the bumper will hold it in place and be strong. Um, besides this, I didn't do any changes to the intake. I do need a pocket though, so if you want to stay for pocketing, then sure. I ended up moving these wheels back. I don't remember if I showed moving the wheels forward, but this ended up being fine. I want to move them forward, but the height limit means I can't really do that. So, like if we look at the master sketch, right? And we see here, you can see how if I move the shooter wheels any further, I won't be able to go under the stage. That's the main trade off. I could move these wheels a little bit closer, but I can't move them very far. It's only like a quarter inch. And the problem is I don't want to accidentally hit the game piece when the intake goes down, which is this circle right here. Um, I added these hooks and I added the stage back. I do need to pad the rigging though. I mean the last cast stage, which is just this rope right here, and then the ratchet plate for this, for this last carriage. Um, and then this hook, the idea is, it's like a one-way hook, this is inspired by mechanical advantage. And the idea is I have a spacer, I can actually use the spacer now, instead of using this bottom one, but I had a spacer and a piece of surgical tubing or a spring that holds it down in place. And then as the chain goes down, it pushes it out. But as soon as the chain goes over, it slots back down. And then the load, and then it should act as the climb pivot for the chain. And then this hook is, and then this hook, this carriage and the hook, of course, acts as the initial climb, se climb for the sequence, for the climb sequence. Uh, I ended up moving this max planetary outwards, which is a little bit annoying for center of gravity and packaging reasons. Just because I had some issues initially when I had to drop the... I think I extended this out, so I had to drop this a little bit. Drop this whole shooter down like this in order to go under the stage. So I had to move the packaging. I think I'm going to keep this actually, and then extend this hex shaft out, and then replace this plate with this plate and then the reason for that is then I can get uh, two pulley like a pulley on both sides and keep the forces even and that might make this pivot a little bit stronger. I'm not sure if I do want to completely do that though. And then I didn't do any changes here so these rollers are basically the same and I guess I can talk about the cascade rigging. I didn't do anything, any massive changes. I think I, since I angled everything, I added a gear here and lowered every, the shaft using this gear run. And the only reason for that is that I could get a little bit more reach. And that allows me to get the cascade rigging all the way up to the very top of the stage, which is nice. Before I wasn't able to do that. And I think that's it. It's mostly just angling it. And the main reason why I angled it is that way I don't have to rely on like any weird swinging or pivots. And since the robot is pretty stable, that makes this whole scoring sequence a lot simpler compared to previously where I had to rely on like using this intake in order to push against the gauge. And that was just weird and I didn't like that. So hopefully, Hopefully this works. I wouldn't know if it works. Someone needs to probably test it and build it. But I think this is probably a good concept design for if you were to run the stage uh, for like doing a trap. Because technically it's only two DOFs. It's just the 
wrist and the elevator, and this doubles. The elevator is only used for the trap anyway, but since you're already using this for scoring your in your speaker and for scoring an amp, you shouldn't have too much of a concern when it comes to adding extra mechanisms. And then keeping this gravity powered is nice just because it allows you to drop it. I might be worried about the one by one bending or like moving in the match, so I might need to find a better way to secure it. But for now, it's fine. I could like do a tiny tap or something right here. Yeah, that's kind of the explanation of what of, of this robot and what it does. Uh, for those that are new, picks up it picks up the notes from the ground, flips over, does a handoff here, and then shoots using these flywheels. If I'm trying to do the amp, it picks it up into these rollers, and then I dunk it in. So, and then I showed the trap mechanism earlier. But that's the general idea. I might work on... I'm gonna go to bed in like 7 minutes or so, so... Yeah. But I'll work on this for now. Oh, so we'll swap this plate out. That plate looked funny anyway, so... I don't mind. This... Actually, that doesn't break anything. That looks not bad. I'm going to copy it and place it here. Attach. So I'll just make this redesign it. So that's eight pinch. This is actually a pretty nice one. I wait for it to appear, it'll take a little bit. Go. Utilize the mate connector and Actually, I'm gonna probably go backwards. I'll do it. This. Do another revolute plus on the other side. these belts cots instead of running them at 10 millimeter. So I'll switch them to 15 millimeter, which would be nice. Oh, I do need to set the center to center to center. Thought about that. And then, because I, I moved some stuff because of the angle. And then like usual, I'll usually post the updates into the Chief Delphi thread, so if you check the Chief Delphi thread, I'll be you'll be able to follow along as well when I work off camera. Um, I usually just work off camera because it's a lot easier to work 
without having to talk about it because my my voice like my throat gets a little bit dry. And then sometimes I just like uh, chatting while in VC with other friends. So no streaming. I wonder if I can. Yeah, I can do that. We need to figure out the spacers though. Oh. oh, actually, that's not great. Oh, where did I go? Okay. I wish there was like a centered like connector and all the bullies. Because then I wouldn't have to select arbitrary one. We have bullies. That's a rough number. I think it's the same number though, so. Oh, between here. They're all weird numbers. I think what I can do is an almost 1 8th. Use a 1 8th spacer and then delete the fascinate and then connect it directly to the spacer. This will be a little bit better. And I don't think I'll have issues with uh, it being in the wrong location. I just want to make sure I use as much clocks as possible just to be safe. And all this is too fast and made sight. Causes this bully to move. Yeah, everything accordingly. Oh. And then that's it. So we have these pulleys catted, and then the ball. Five inches, and I wouldn't worry about that last part, so I'd just do a two inch spacer. Such a one inch spacer as such. And I'll just assemble it all in this corner. To redo this, I would move the shooter assembly separate from the elevator. I wasn't sure how integrated everything would be, so I ended up like this. Um, and yeah. So now we have that settled. I want to do the rigging now. Actually, let's do a let's do some pocketing. Yeah, let's just do some pocketing. Why not? The robot's getting heavy. I want to get weight. I want to get the weight set as well. So, Fetch. actually, it's one o'clock. I I did a little bit of CAD, and I think I explained the rest of the robot. So. I'll just call that it for now, but then I'll stream probably not tomorrow. Maybe I'll stream tomorrow, like at noon, if my friends aren't. But I'm hanging out with friends, so depending on the timing, I'll see if I can sneak a stream in. All right, good night.